I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you. This means that we should not trust a church leader simply because sometime in the past they led a student Christian union or were keen young curates in a sound biblical church or were able back then to sign a doctrinal basis. The issue, notice, is not what a person once believed or once taught or how they once lived nor is it whether they carry the title Reverend, Venerable, Most Reverend, or Lord Bishop. Jesus warned his disciples that false prophets would come dressed in sheep's clothing. And the question, therefore, is what do they believe now? What do they teach now? And how do they live today? This means we should consider carefully what a person teaches. Look at their method again, there in verse uh, 30. From among your own selves will arise men speaking twisted things. The word twisted is distorted, perverted, corrupted. That is, they speak from the Bible. And that's what makes it so very difficult. They speak from the Bible, but they do not sit under the Bible. They use the Bible, but they do not teach the Bible. They speak of Jesus, they speak of the Holy Spirit, they speak of God. They lead a service, but they are teaching twisted things. Literally turned through things, screwed up things, you might say. They're very hard, and therefore we must listen carefully. And where there is such false teaching, elsewhere Paul says, avoid such people. The writer says, there is therefore a style of Christian ministry that is disgraceful. As Christians, we can be far too undiscerning about this. When exposed to this sort of ministry, we can all too easily assume that because a teacher is calling himself Christian and using Jesus' name and speaking about the Holy Spirit, therefore they must be okay. But later in the letter, we know that false teachers did preach Jesus, a different Jesus. They did speak about the gospel, a different gospel. They did have the Holy Spirit's name on their lips all the time, but a different spirit. They called themselves Christian workers. Paul calls them disgraceful and underhanded. I wonder if that's ever occurred to you, that there is such a thing as disgraceful church work. Church work. 